Hey everyone, this is Sai here. Today we'll be going over our day in the life of NetSuite Administrator. So things to get started. Um, so as an admin, whenever I log in into NetSuite, the first thing I usually look up is my home dashboard. Um, so you can see the, like the key, how my calendar is on the left-hand side, any KPI meters, analytics, so not some navigation shortcuts. So as an admin, I would prefer to like customize my dashboard so I still like have my quick wins at the start of the day. So as an administrator, obviously there will be um, ad hoc work, um, like issues that you'll be helping different stakeholders, both internal to your organization and external to your organization if you're working for multiple clients. So either way, like the uh, best thing to do is to make things easy on your home dashboard. Uh, you can always personalize this. So. Um, that would be your key starting point is to personalize your home dashboard and have everything ready to go. You can add in shortcuts as needed, any report snapshots, key performance indicators. So, so shortcuts is my go-to. So I can quickly go to any tools that I use. Okay, coming to the next uh, important aspect as an admin. Um, so I build out a lot of safe searches. When I say a lot, um, I'm not kidding there. So the reason why uh, safe searches are an important aspect is there are nothing but like results that you can search in the system that you're saving that and you want to redistribute or like reuse as often as possible. So safe searches are the most important aspect for me as an admin and I keep using that. I also occasionally email it to clients who uh, request, uh, like say a new record gets updated on the safe search. So in that scenario, uh, their Net NetSuite allows a safe search to basically send out an email and you can see that and send an email alert when the records are created or updated. So that is definitely possible here. You can add recipients, you can also like add like recipient from a particular result based on a particular field, updated fields, you can customize that message and schedule. So safe searches, next important aspect. You also have your reports where you can use your NetSuite native CAN reports that um, like for example, income statement, balance sheet that you can customize it as per um, th like the way the stakeholders are going to use in the system. So there's that. Also, you have all your lists, um, employee records, like your customers, vendors. So most of my time, I keep on customizing certain forms. For example, let's take uh, a customer. Like in this scenario, I'm going to take the customer Dell. So we're just going into the customer record, and I'm going to customize. Like you can customize this form. So I'll click on edit, and then I happen to like say for example someone asks me to like add a particular field here and then if it's if it's not a native field we can definitely like create a custom field so you can so go into customize and add a new field here or like you can customize the form and check the field already exists and then have it added into your existing vendor form so to but as an administrator I chose to use the native field features as much as I can to improve on the performance but if and only if it's necessary, then I, then I would go the customization route. So that's the third important feature from a day-to-day -day job. So the next thing is, again, obviously NetSuite uh, is a vast platform. There are so many things to do and you might be stuck um, not knowing to, like a particular scenario and you get asked by an internal or external stakeholder saying, I need help with so-and-so and you don't know it. So or you're stuck doing a certain task uh, which is not available inside your um, knowledge base, for example. And then you can obviously look up like like Sweet Answers as the first um, inside the help center. If you can find anything related to your custom transaction forms in the scenario or like go up in Sweet Answers and search for what you're looking for. If both of them are of no avail, I would then go ahead and create uh, like a support ticket. So you can click on contact support, uh, fill out the details, sure. and have it um, like have them call you back if you are, if you're on priority support and or like you can raise a ticket and NetSuite support will get back to you on the same. So there's definitely like um, like it, it, they're pretty responsive. So 
contacting NetSuite support would also be a day-to-day -day task as an admin. So there, these are the, the primary um, uh, tasks that I would say constitute the life of an administrator. But the final thing I would say is also making sure your user roles are set up properly, um, you're making sure like, you know, importing, exporting into NetSuite. So as an admin, you would be doing a lot of importing into the system. Um, so make sure you know what your import types are, what, um, like, and you'll be doing a lot of Excel based work. So there's that, um, like fortunately my data analyst background has helped me in this scenario. So I would say, keep a lookout for that, brush up your Excel skills and yeah, you would, these are like your, uh, this is the day to day life of Net, NetSuite administrator. So yeah, if you guys need help getting started in the NetSuite journey, reach out to us. I will put a link in the description of the video. Uh, you can sign up there. We have a discount the program going on right now. We have a bunch of NetSuite experts, including myself, who would be training you guys to get up to speed in your NetSuite journey or at least um, tailor the program to your liking. Look forward to seeing you guys again. Do like and subscribe to this video. Thank you.